Hi everyone, it's Michelle Taylor from veganbreak.com and I am on day 14, the, la the second Sunday of the Healthy Eating Challenge, the 21 day Vegan Break Healthy Eating Challenge that many of you have joined me on. If you haven't, you can check out all the previous videos and there's tons of resources so you can jump on board. But I wanna share with you today the top three tips that I have for you guys that I've kind of learned over the past two weeks that have enabled me to be pretty successful on this healthy eating challenge. The first is being prepared. Always plan out your meals, uh, you know, make things in advance, know what you're gonna have for lunch, know what you're gonna be able to grab for for a snack, go shopping at the beginning of the week and make sure your fridge is stocked with fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, plan out your meals and be able to, you know, at the beginning of the week, make a big pot of rice or anything else you need. So just be prepared. I cannot emphasize how important that is. Um, Number two is finding a few staple options that you can turn to that are super easy to make or packaged or little energy bars in case you're you know, in a situation where you're not able to make your own food or find any good options that are healthy, you can turn to those. For me, that was Lara bars or Lara bars, however you want to say it. They were a great help to me. I had them on hand at work, at the office, when I was out and about, and if I was ever starving but couldn't find some healthy options, I would be able to turn to those. They were also a great option if I was cra craving something sugary, because they're very sweet but they're all very natural, usually sweetened just with dates and other natural fruits and peanuts and different things. So Lara bars are great. Also McDougal soups. McDougal um, has a whole line of super healthy vegan soups and other products. So those are, those are a great help as well. So if you don't know about those, look for those at Whole Foods or just your local supermarket. Um, and then number three is finding healthy alternatives to foods that you're already used to or foods that you find yourself craving. Um, I, th I believe I mentioned that I obviously love ice cream, as do we all, and I found a way to make a very healthy version that is simply frozen bananas thrown in a blender, add a little bit of nut milk if you're able, or even just frozen bananas and a little bit of water, and you've got yourself a delicious, sweet ice cream slash frozen yogurt, and it's so good. You can top it off with some coconut or just eat it as it is. It has been, you know, a great kind of staple for me. If I'm ever craving dessert after dinner, I'll just whip some of that up. Um, so those are the three main tips that I found to be super healthy over my personal healthy eating challenge. I want to hear what yours are. What have you guys learned? What are some, you know, tips and guidelines that you have for other people that will help other people out as they watch these videos in the future and embark on a similar challenge? Leave them in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from you guys and I'll try and include some of your tips and suggestions in my future videos. Alright, take care guys. I'll check in soon. Bye!